truck is in the body shop currently. And I've got my tonneau cover and rack here in the garage. So I'm going to use this opportunity to build a uh, ham stick uh, organization transport device. And uh, well, let's get it going. Now I've thought about this over and over again and I've tried different uh, scenarios in uh, portability, ease of use, and um, aesthetics and I think I came up with a good solution. We gotta do a little measurement first. How you all doing? Let me know in the comments. What I plan to do is collapse these. Uh, it's basically two parts. You got the stinger and the coil. Try to do this for the camera. It's ridiculous. Now all the coils are the same length and they will ultimately be the longest part of this system. So we're looking at uh, 49 and a half tip to tip. 49 and one half. Don't let me forget that. Don't zoom that way for God's sakes. 49 and a half. Remember that one. Camera business is for the birds. That have been done already. Okay. So what I'm doing here is using a slice of schedule 40 PVC. One jet airplane going overhead. 49 and a half minus 30 quarter uh, half inch. So we're going to put this uh, business on one end and this cap on the other. Don't get your beard stuck in a circular saw. 49. Perfect. Oh, I made a nice, nice edge. Heck, I don't even have to sand that at all. Well, thanks for following along the channel. Appreciate it. Let's unzoom this thing, huh? Just a dry fit for now. That'll be a little bit more snug. All said and done, put the cap on. And this is kind of what it looks like. There's my tonneau cover and rack up against my quad. There's the rack. Antenna mounts on top. Clean out plug. And this one's already disconnected. I'll slide in there. Yep, just over the lip there, and it's going to be perfect. It's going to look nice with the um, bed liner paint over it and uh, strapped to the top of that rack. It's going to be, it's going to come out beautiful. All right, a little fine tuning. Taking off the sharp edge. That's nice. This one's nice and finished. So I got a nice finished edge on both sides there. A little detail nobody's ever going to see, but how's this one? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's all nice and finished. Let's get. Uh, some of this green scotch pad and see if we can get this off. 
Yes, I know. Eh, not really. Scrub this. A little coarse of sandpaper. We'll just take a little bit off. See how she does. We'll rough it up a little bit so that the bed liner spray can adhere to it a little bit better. You guys see this? Last time you seen one of those. This one's converted from pulse to tone. So that it's still usable if you actually still have a landline. <laughs> I don't. Alrighty. I have a tool for that. I'll glue this up and get some bed liner on it. Oh, am I the only one that has trouble with PVC cement lids? Don't get your beard stuck in this. This is a nice flat ended cap. There we go. It's nice. All right, now I've got this stuff here. It's a uh, graphite, but I also have a little bit of this magic stuff. that I used in uh, my old Pinewood Derby days. Take a guess of what that is. First one that guesses what this is gets a prize. I'll give you a heart on the comment. <laughs> so I'm sanding these threads down a little bit because they will bind I just want it to be an easy finger deal. Okay, so this is the stuff here. I need to get a focus on that. Pinewood Derby magic right there. So I'll pick up a little bit on the brush. Get it on there. So I polish the axles on the Pinewood Derby cars. And with a jeweler's rouge. And I would put the axles in my drill press and do the final polish with this stuff. Which embedded into the chrome and let me just tell you that I had multiple shelves filled with first place trophies <laughs> for speed and design we'll let this glue cure and I'll see on the outside of this Cup link and get some bed liner on this. All right, this paint has acetone in it, so I'm not sure how it's gonna react with the PVC, but we'll see how it goes. Let's put two coats on her. I suck at camera operating, but get the end here and another coat on 
that after that cures. We'll just have to see if that blisters up. All right, well, this thing came out just fantastic. I'm really pleased with it. The paint didn't blister up or um, give me any problems there. I have about three coats of bed liner paint on there. And I'm very pleased with it. It's going to fit in any backseat of a car or a rooftop rack or anything like that. It's 51 inches long, an uh, inch and a half PVC. Uh, I guess you can go with two inch if you need more storage room. But um, I'm really pleased with this. Uh, it's going to be quick deployment, get an antenna out up on the, on the rack. So thanks for joining along. And we'll see you on the next one.